hey um so I'm gonna film the eye look that I was wearing in my last couple of videos uh, I don't know exactly when I'm uploading this one but it was this guy right here if you can see that just a just a quick serve uh, so it was from my Lisa Eldridge um, like how to wear red lips video and um, basically everyone commented and was like what about the eyes though and it was super easy so uh, we're gonna do that today I already primed I have been using the Urban Decay uh, original eyeshadow priming potion so that's what I have on my eyes right now and I've really been liking it all right for my eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using I've got lipstick all over it but I'm gonna be using the Stone Cold Fox palette from Colourpop which first of all I love the palette it's matte uh, and it's got like this pebbled almost I guess it's mostly pebbled it's almost like snakeskin uh, but it's just like a bunch of more cool toned nudes you know shimmers and everything but what I like about this palette is that they're not like too gray so it's a very friendly neutral palette uh, it's a little bit more cool tone there's some like more mauvey shades but there's enough like warmth it, there's a lot of diversity in this palette and I highly recommend it like I love it so much um, okay so basically for this look I was trying to kind of like emulate what people like Patrick Ta do on their models um, Patrick Ta, uh, Mario, the other guy, Ariel, um, all of those makeup artists. I was trying to emulate like how they do eyeshadow makeup. Eyeshadow makeup? And typically it has a lot to do with like co really contouring the eye, um, the eye socket. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the key to this, I think, is using smaller brushes. So I have been talking a lot recently about brushes and brush sizes. Um, but to get a really, really good contour, you wanna use something that's gonna be a little bit smaller, so it's not going to go all over the place. I'm trying to remember exactly like how I did this, because I was kind of just like experimenting. So I'm gonna start off with the MAC uh, 217 brush. Um, anything will do, anything from Morphe, whatever. I'm gonna start off by um, mixing these two shades, because this one is a little bit too light. I'm pretty sure those are like the only colors that I used. So I'm going to start off by mixing those just by like tapping back and forth, focusing on like the tip of the brush. And then what I'm going to do is looking down into a mirror, I'm going to focus the pigment, like basically just following my eye socket. And I'm going to build it up really, really lightly. But the way I'm going to be doing this differently than I usually do my eyeshadow is I'm kind of like following my eye socket, <laughs> socket my eye socket all the way around. So I'm actually going to be bringing it in here as well. So I'm really contouring, like following the contour of my eye socket. So bringing it in here, but I don't wanna take it in like here too much. Uh, I'm not trying to make this like super duper dramatic or high glam or anything like that. I'm really just creating um, more of a shadow. And then I'm gonna kinda of like bring it down like that at the end. Um, I didn't really, I kinda of like, did a little bit of blending out, but I didn't do that like cat eye sort of sweep that I usually do. And I'm gonna just going to start off by like slowly building up the pigment in that area. And I'm holding my brush like this because it gives me a little bit more like precision. So I'm using a light hand because sometimes if you hold your brush like that, it can create like a harsher line up here. Um, you can also use your brush like this. Not that you can really see that but point it downward, which is gonna create a little bit more of a harsh line going, whichever way the tip is pointing, basically. But I just find that to be like a little bit more difficult for me. So light hand into the inner corner. Once I have that, I'm gonna turn my brush so that it's sideways, and I'm just going to sort of blend. And deepen this area up a little more. I keep leaning like that. It's really important that you look down into a mirror because it's gonna help you maintain that precision. You wanna keep all of that skin like as flat as you possibly can. Otherwise you can get skipping. If you feel like you're having a hard time blending, make sure you're looking down into a mirror. All right, now I'm gonna pick up a slightly smaller brush. I believe I used, when I did this, I'm pretty sure I used this, um, Wayne Goss number 19 brush, but a great dupe for that 
is, I mean, they're not exactly the same, but um, is the Morphe M456 brush, which is just kind of like a smaller blending brush, basically. And I'm just going to pick up the like more medium brown. I'm not gonna mix it anymore. And I'm gonna focus it on the tip of that brush. And I'm going to just really focus this like right in that crease. So just building up that contour a little more. I'm gonna take that other brush, just like wipe it off, kind of go and blend all around that. Um, okay, so for the lid, uh, I first, this is a little complicated because I first went in with Lux, which is this like matte cream shade right here, but it ended up being like way too light. And I ended up going in, I think over top with uh, this guy right here, the one that we um, mixed that this brown with. Quiet, please. So what brush did I use? So I'm gonna use the Sigma E54 brush, medium sweeper, and I'm gonna go in with Lux. I'm just gonna do it exactly the way that I did it that time. And I basically just like popped this all over the lid, all the way to the inner corner. So I started a little bit lower and then kind of brought it up and met that crease just above where my like um, skin folds naturally. This isn't a cut crease though, clearly. <laughs> so it's a little, just a little bit softer. Okay, and so I wasn't wild about that. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was taking um, just my original brush and going in with uh, that like taupey shade, which is Trip, the lightest one, loaded up my brush. And then I basically just kind of blended all over it. So I went over the cream into the contour and just kind of blended it all together which you can see just kind of like softened everything and toned down that cream. It made it a little bit more like natural looking. This is just a little too stark for my skin, I think. So starting off by like patting it all over the cream and then blending it out. Um, okay, so then for the lower lash line, I basically did what I uh, did in the crease, you know, like mix those two colors together and just blended that out. Um, and for that, I'm gonna use this uh, E26 from ColourPop, basically covering my eye bag. I just basically want to shade this area because it pops out and I don't like the way that looks. So I like to push it back in space. That's really the only reason that I do that. So it's basically the same concept as applying the shade in my crease. I'm just pushing this back in space. So doing some eye contouring, that's really it. Um, okay, for my waterline, uh, I did the kind of a half thing. So I did a nude on the outer portion of my eye. And then I did like a darker shade on the inner portion. So I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Eye Bright Pencil, which is kind of like a pale pink. And I'm gonna be doing this on the outer part of my waterline. So I'm gonna take it like, I don't know, halfway in or so. But really focusing it out here. And I'm even going to bring it like just there, like outer. I, I don't even know what to say. Just like out of that waterline a little bit, I guess. Extending uh, your nude liner to like the outer corner is a very Sophia Loren makeup trick. And then for the inner corner, I, I'm, or for the inner waterline, you don't have to put anything there because it this is gonna end up doing the same thing, but like because this is lighter, this already looks darker, but uh, I'm gonna go in with Il Maquillage Long Wear Eye Pencil in Sylvester. I can't remember if this is the shade that I used, but it's the one that I would, I think. Anyway, I'm just going to place this in the very inner corner and then like there, and just kind of like fade it off. Does it look kind of crazy right now? <laughs> um, so now what I'm gonna do is go in with Okay, I need to turn off my sound because that is so annoying. Um, I'm gonna go in with the liner. I was gonna say liner and powder all together. It's a powder, but we're applying it like it's a liner. So I'm gonna use Drama Mama, which is the dark brown, this one, in the palette. And I'm going to be applying that with my uh, KVD Beauty number 70 brush, which is the thinnest, most precise angled brush there is. Uh, so first I'm gonna do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take the tip of the brush, the side of the tip, and just kind of like 
dip it in a little bit and then under like I'm not going to go up I'm going to go under so I'm going to extend my lash line my lower inner corner just like that much and then I'm going to connect that on the bottom part so we're kind of like connecting it to where we put the dark waterline liner and if you are like me and your eyes are a little more deep set or a little more close set I got both going on you don't want to make this like you don't want to bring this in like super duper far because it's just going to bring your eyes a little closer together. So all I'm really doing is I have very um, sort of round tear duct, I guess. So all I'm doing is just sexy parroting that little spot right there. If you follow me on TikTok, then you know what I'm talking about. And then for the upper part, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use that brush and I'm going to focus that liner on or the powder on the tip, like the very end. Um, and I'm going to start it a little bit higher than the end of my eye and I'm just going to lightly sketch out a wing and I love doing this with powder because it just allows for more mistakes like you can kind of just like it's like going in with pencil first you're just kind of sketching it out it's a lot easier to erase any mistakes so then uh, now that I have that line I'm going to just start to kind of like build it up a little bit so I want it to stay nice and thin on the end, just kind of connecting it with like the outer end of my eye. So just kind of like that. I honestly just want it to look like kind of an extension of an eyelash. I always fuck up the side, just like never fails. I definitely don't think I did it this intense when um, I did it the other day. That This is a, a little more fox eye <laughs> than I had intended. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and inner corner, and I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Clio highlighter. You know, just a little shimmer shimmer up here. And then for my inner corner highlight, what I'm gonna do is basically just highlight like right above the extended inner corner. So just right here. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara, which like you can just do that if you want. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with the House of Lashes <laughs> Patrick Ta collab. It's called It's a Look. New favorite lashes. Like, look at these. Oh, well, you'll see them on me in like two seconds. All right, guys, that's it. That's the eye look. It's very pretty. It's super simple. Uh, it's obviously neutrals, so you can wear it with any lip look. Like, I, when I first did it, I was wearing the red lip. Um, I actually wore this on my birthday, and I wore it with, like, just a nude lip, and then, you know, just a simple gloss. Anything is really, really pretty. Super simple. All mattes, you know? Really easy. Love it. Contouring. All that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Rambling. See you next time. Hopefully.